Hey, what's up, everyone? We're back playing some Pharmacy Simulator. Let's get started. Fair enough. What do you want? Bro, what is with all these people wanting? What? Why do all of you have fungal infections? What is going on in this area? I, what, what did I move into? Oh, I actually still had one on the shelf. Yeah, I'm a grade A goober. Here we go. There you go. Take that. Okay, everybody. Let's take a closer look at Clotrimazole. So, it is... An amidazole class, meaning it is good for fungal infections. This can include athlete's foot, jock itch, ringworm, um, basically everything that is listed down here, which is super cool. Now, how does it work? One of the most interesting part about these antifungal, antiviral, antibacterial medications is how they do it. A lot of people just take them and say, oh, bacteria dead. But how? This can be in so many ways, you know stopping certain enzymes, physically breaking down membranes of their walls. There can be so many ways that they're done, and it's super interesting. In this case, that's what clotrimazole does. It damages the barrier of the fungal cytoplasmic membrane. We're basically taking away the protective wall of the fungi. All right, and when I give this to somebody, there's a couple of minor things that we have to say. When you put the medication on, make sure to clean and thoroughly dry the area that's being treated. You don't want to put this on an area of skin that isn't clean because that kind of defeats the purpose. And you also don't want the area wet because the medication won't be able to do what it's supposed to do. Um, as far as how often to apply it, it all depends on the doctor. So just listen to your doctor as far as that's concerned. For normal adults though, it's twice a day, one in the morning, one at night. That's the usual, but again, it all depends. As far as the medication itself, it's pretty important to not wrap, cover, or bandage the area. So put the cream on, don't put a bandage over it, and then very, very importantly, this medication does not belong in the eyes, nose, or mouth, or vagina. Do not put them in those places if it's a cream. It will just make you sick. All right, this is, oh, dude, I'm gonna need a tech. Okay, blue. I got you. Yeah, I'm going to have to move this. Like, pronto. And I'm sure it's going to, when I'm, we're getting into the prescription stuff, it's going to help a lot, too. What do you mean? I did enter the correct amount. It's 10, bro. All right, you know what? Let me move these, like, stat. Here we go. Because this is not okie-dokie. Okay. Um, oh, I'm going to sneeze, bro. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh. Here we go. All right, that should make everything a million times easier. Here we go. Uh, so gas, sore, and cyanotera. Okay. Uh, so you need one of these. Would you need? You needed the gas, right? You needed this too, and then the gas. Okay, I think I think I got everything correct there. I'm a master pharmacist. Here we go. Ink. Okay. So if you guys are wondering, and I know I mentioned it earlier since I'm in my fourth year of pharmacy, if you're wondering, so hey, David, like, bees a uh, So maybe you're wondering, like, hey, David, what actually are you? So I'm technically a pharmacy intern, which is like almost as classified as like a student pharmacist. So it's like technically above a pharmacy technician, but it's lower than a pharmacist. You know what I mean? All right, here, give me your money. Pink, pink. But I will be taking my state exams next summer, essentially. So I'll be getting my doctorate in the spring. I'll be taking the licensure exams that summer. And then I'll be a pharmacist. Uh, okay, what do you want? Alta inhaler. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this inhaler. Salbutamol is actually the same as albuterol in the United States. It is just the international non-proprietary name. Okay, so I'm in the United States. We're looking at essentially albuterol. What do we need to know? Okay, so this is a nice graph of what I'm going to talk about next. There are different types of asthma inhalers. They don't all do the same thing. Some are relievers and some are controllers. Essentially, relievers are short acting. You use them when you need them. You, you know, you do some sports and you can't breathe or um, your asthma flares up, you would want to use a reliever. In this case, something like an albuterol. But there are also controllers. These are not meant to be taken as needed, but taken every day to control your asthma. 
a lot of people with asthma that isn't that bad, they're often given just a short acting, an albuterol. But if it's a little worse, it happens every day, you know that it's coming, then you're usually going to a doctor and you're given a controller along with the short acting. Although, as of recent, the guidelines are changing to prefer a controller. Now, it's important to note, albuterol is not available over the counter. So that is another mistake on the game's end. I'm starting to think this guy that made the game is from Europe because he's using a lot of these international names. And I don't know if it's over the counter in Europe, but here in the United States, it is not. It is a prescription medication. Now you might be wondering, is there anything over the counter for asthma? Yes. The only product that I know about is this Primatine Mist, which is just epinephrine, essentially a bronchodilator, helps you breathe better. This is the only over the counter asthma thing that you can buy. All right, last thing we'll talk about is how do you use this albuterol inhaler? The most important thing with all inhalers is proper technique. If the patient doesn't use it right, the medication does not work, and you can often actually cause fungal infections in the mouth. So how do you use it? And let's take a look at specifically albuterol. There's a lot of mechanisms for a lot of inhalers, but we're going to focus on this one. You want to shake the inhaler. You're going to want to breathe all the way out you want to make sure there is nothing in your lungs go ahead and put it up to your mouth you're going to want to make sure to press the button at the exact same time that you inhale you don't want to press the button and then inhale or inhale and then press the button you want to do it at the same time the medication needs to get into your lungs if it doesn't get there it, you did nothing you just wasted <laughs> you're wasting your time essentially then, once you click the button and breathe in at the exact same time, a nice big breath, you're going to want to hold your breath for at least 10 seconds. You want to make sure the medication stays in your lungs. You don't want to breathe it out right away. And then after 10 seconds, or really as long as you can hold your breath, obviously if you can't hold it for 10 seconds, then just hold it as long as you can. Go ahead and breathe out, and you've successfully taken a dose of albuterol. Okay. Okay, I feel, I feel like, yeah, that was the move to put the shelves right behind me. That was definitely the move. Alright. What do you want? Sorry, I'm like, I don't even know where I'm... M... So, Altafen... Okay, hold on. Just one thing at a time. Altafen... He wanted the thing that starts with the E. I'm gonna assume this is what he wants. And what was that last thing? Altafen... Oh, and you wanted the clutch... The Azel... Fungal. Alright. 37... There you go. Man, this feels like hard work. Oh my god, I got the fluorescent. Okay, give me give me more drugs. That's what I want. Stop giving me decoration items. Uh, okay, yes, sure, that's easy. I really should be quicker at this than I am. Okay, bang. Alright, what do you got? 13? You also have a fungal infection. And what was that last thing? Lone Dex. Okay, what was that Lone Dex again in this game? What is this? Okay, never mind. I can't. I can't see what it is. Why do so many of these start with A right off the right off the bat? This is gonna cause me to struggle. Dude, how many more customers do I got, bro? All right, there's two more. Let's, let's get through them here. Okay, Alex Jen. Yes, that's easy. Bang. $11. Can I change the price of how much I charge? I know in some other games I can do that. just want to charge a million. I'll defend just like uh, real life companies. Ayo. 12. I'm surprised. I don't know. I, f I feel like, okay, so if you guys are wondering, usually, at least how it should be in a pharmacy, is you want to talk to the patient about their symptoms and all that. You don't, you're you don't usually just want to, like, give them exactly what they want, because they don't always know what they should be getting. But I'll let it slide. See, one Alta Haler, two... So how many do you want? Also, I don't think I have any. Hold on. I just thought of something. Is... Do I close my store at any point, or do people just keep coming in? I just realized... Wait, no, there's a timer up top. Like, when does my store close? Okay, I should probably check this guy out. Like, I'm thinking right now, like, man, I'm... 
I've been going for a hot minute here. Am I? Is it time to close? This is like real life where time is dragging by. Alte Asrin. Oh my god, I don't. I don't know if I have that actually. So, you guys need to go away, man. This is like also how I feel in real life sometimes. Oh my god, dude. This is like oddly like close to as stressful as it is in real life. This is bringing me back PTSD, man. Uh, <laughs> what do you want to get? <laughs> yeah. Also, the whole not having things in stock is usually a daily routine in any pharmacy, too. Mm, let me just put it right here, just for now. Like my order hasn't came in yet. I'm sorry, I don't have it. Okay, let's take a closer look at acetylcysteine. This one is a little bit confusing. The game markets it for mucus and basically lung congestion, and it's really not normally used for that. As you can see, acetylcysteine is the mainstay actually for acetaminophen or Tylenol overdose. That's what it's mainly used for, and it actually mostly comes in vials. In the game, it's tablets. This comes, let's see, yeah, in 20 and 30 ml vials, that is usually given IV. There are inhalation and oral available, but really this drug is known for Tylenol toxicity, not mucus. Okay, what do you want? One ass, Alex Jen, and Alta Haler. Okay, 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 we're rolling, we're rolling. Alta Haler, yeah, that's what you want. If that's not what you want, oh well, that's what you're getting. All right. So yeah. I really should be like diagnosing these people, bro. So yeah, gas problems, a fungal infection, and I don't know what this is. Okay, so the product we're looking at in game is this benzodamine uh, lozenge. It is another NSAID, but it is special because it is specifically only for the mouth. It is a local anesthetic. It comes in a mouthwash, mouth spray, and a lozenge, but we're gonna focus on the lozenge because that's what we're selling. So you can use it up to seven days. If it's any more than that, you might want to go see a doctor. The symptoms will go away after a few minutes and can last up to a few hours. The mouthwash does contain alcohol, so it can't be used for people under 13, but again, we're using the lozenge. Um, and when you use it, you might get a stinging or numbing feeling in your mouth. Adults and children can use one lozenge three times a day. Now you might be wondering, how do I use a lozenge? I've never heard of that before. It is essentially something that gets dissolved in your mouth and then you swallow it along with your saliva so it is not intended to be chewed or swallowed whole leave it in your mouth let it dissolve and then just swallow it as a liquid and once again the side effects it's that numbness when you let it dissolve in your mouth i can't read bro wait is this even what you wanted i'm like yeah yeah okay no no oh yeah that is what you wanted okay so you want one of these on a two two gas things which are no longer on my screen are no longer on my shelves bro let me close down the pharmacy bro please oh dude i'm an absolute i'm the buffoon of the highest caliber i just realized the order is right below me like straight up yeah i'm the biggest buffoon of all time i'm over here looking back at what they're Oh my god. Alright, we're learning. We're learning. Yeah, I'm... I'm so glad these guys aren't, like, precepting me right now. Because I would straight up get sent home that day. So, quite, do I even have to, like... Okay, yeah, I can just, like, kind of back out instantly and just follow what it says on screen. You wanted two of these? There you go. No! That's not what I meant. Don't, don't, don't give me just four dollars. That's not how much it costs. Okay, there we go. Yeah, okay. This is, dude, this is a game changer now that I know it's on just the side of my screen. Absolute game changer. Also, dude, is there no music in this game? No music, bro? Oh, music. I mean, I guess that's how most pharmacies should be. You need to focus up. No music. Patient safety first, although I kind of like the pharmacies that like 
where the pharmacist just plays music. So you know he's a chill guy. Or woman. Chill man or woman. Okay, the beast of stuff. Okay. Yeah, almost almost it's almost flying flying off the shelves, man. And again, in real life, I'd really would be asking these people many more questions. Very interesting. Wait, this is oh, this is not what you wanted. Oops. Wait, what did you want? Oh, I don't. Why am I looking at him? It's it's on my little notepad thing. Come on, please. I want to close the store. I'm tired. I didn't even get a break today, dude. Please, Altafen, Altafen, Altafen. All right. What are you talk? Oh, I picked up ulti flu. All right, yep, I'm failing. I'm getting sued 100%. But that's why usually in real pharmacies you have uh, like extra verifications. You know, you have, you have a verification at when the tech is filling, usually with a label, then you have or like a scan label, then you have a verification with the pharmacist, and then you have usually either a tertiary like audit at the end after fill, or you. And then, of course, like when the patient picks it up, you have another scan. So it's not usually like this. All right. Uh, what did you want? Okay, dude. I, dude, I don't even have half that crap on my thing anymore. Yeah, I'm in trouble, bro. Maybe I should really have two spots for all these medications. I know this is one of the things that he wanted. Uh, I think that was like right here. So you can go and have that. Still have some of that gas. Actually, I do have everything here. There you go. Oh, it's finally getting nighttime. Yes, I can go home. All right. Dude, no way you guys came in last minute before closing, just like in real life. Oh, man, dude. where is that Tom Holland? Dude, where are these people coming from? Okay, one Melly. Okay, well, it's almost night time, so I better take this soon. Melatonin takes at least 30 minutes to kick in. Also, fun fact, melatonin doesn't put you to sleep. It isn't, it doesn't make you drowsy. It, it, it's not like a, um, you know, okay, you can also use antihistamines basically to sleep because it, it's supposed to make you drowsy. So, like, if it makes you drowsy, it can, like, actually put you to sleep. But things like melatonin, they don't make you drowsy. They don't put you to sleep. Um, but when you do go to sleep, you tend to have a better night's sleep. A lot of people don't know that, and they think it, like, actually makes them go to sleep. It, it doesn't. Um, it makes it, like, almost easier to go to sleep, but it's not like other sleep meds where it assists in the actually, <laughs> the act of going to sleep, you know? Uh, dude, it's, it's, what, it's 8 p.m.? Well, I guess most pharmacies are... Or most big chain pharmacies are still open around 8, so I can't complain too much, but... When do I close? One Melly, okay. There you go. Have fun going to bed tonight. Nine bucks, that's it. Alright, get out of here. But yeah, usually melatonin takes about 30 minutes to kick in. So you want to make sure that you give it enough time to kind of get going. Alright, tell me you're the... Oh, why do people keep coming? I guess it's 8 p.m. Leave me alone. I shouldn't be saying that. I need to make money, but... There you go. Okay, so we got money, vitamin stand, vitamin license, and vitamins? Vitamin license? You don't need a license to sell vitamins. Aw. Well, let's go to... What? You don't need a license to sell vitamins. They're not even... They're barely even regulated by the FDA. You basically... On the labeling, you can't lie. But, like, even, like, the product itself is not really tested by the FDA like most drugs are. Alright. Okay, so we close officially at 9 p.m. Okay, so that's good to know. Like, that's when we actually close. Oh, man. How do I... Oh, Escape to go to the next day. Alright. Our first day at the Big P. Made it over 2000 My expenses, bills, employee salaries. Okay. Taxes? Would I actually have to pay taxes? That's unfortunate. 
I, I was hoping I didn't have to pay taxes, although I guess I shouldn't say that or the IRS will come knocking, come running. Okay, so I don't have to open, okay? So it stays 9 o'clock until I open, which is good because I kind of want to redo some of my stuff here. I wonder if I should just... Dude, I'm about to knock down these walls right here. I'm going to have to get some shelves running here. Oh my god, what is that? Sound is nuts. So that's that's very weird. They're making me. I have to take two, four things down actually. Okay, this is the last wall we're taking down. And honestly, I will not be expanding any further for a very long time. I because I'm I don't think I'll need more space. Okay, so let's go to the store. Cosmetics. Okay, so I can ooh vitamins. Should I, should I get some vitamins? I mean, actually, wait. I don't think I can until I take the license. License required. Mmm. The license is $1,000. That's not cheap. All right, let's go ahead and buy some more shelves, though. Maybe two more shelves? Yeah, that should be enough. And, yeah, let's make sure to have a few a few spots for all the medications okay everybody i have things nice and organized now i actually have three spots for all of the medications the only thing i'm currently missing is the inhalers which i Sadly, don't have enough money for it, but I think everything else is currently on the shelf as far as I know. I'll have to double check, I guess, when people start coming in. Um, I have a few extra spots for melatonin down here, and then I'll have to make one or two more spots for this down here, too. But, yeah, I think I'm kind of ready to start the day. And then I just realized this is supposed to be, like, bicycodil, so it's for constipation. I just realized that, which is kind of cool. Okay, so let's take a look at constipation a little bit. As a pharmacist, what is the stepwise process to treating it? The first line management in all the patients that you would see, first you want to ask about their diet, fiber, fluid, and physical activity, and toilet training. A lot of constipation can be fixed just by fixing your diet. You want more fiber and you want to drink more water. Now, as far as things they can take, there are many different types. The first one that I would recommend is fiber supplements. So these help absorb water to form these bulky stools to help you go to the bathroom. A lot of the common ones are things like this Metamucil and Fibricon. This is the first thing that I would personally recommend. Now, let's say they've tried that. They've eaten a lot of fiber. It doesn't work. I would then personally move on to an osmotic. These also help draw water into your large intestine, so your stool is softer. The main one that I see is this Miralax or the polyethylene glycol. You might see that um, as the generic form or this milk of magnesia, although I wouldn't highly recommend that one or the magnesium citrate. Then let's say they have tried the Miralax. It doesn't work. What do you do then? You go over to either stimulants or stool softeners. Now, I would personally go with a stool softener first. And the most common one is this docusate sodium. And if that doesn't work, I would go over to a stimulant. These actually cause your intestines to squeeze to basically get things going here. And an example of that would be what we are selling, I think, in the game, which is the Bicycotal. There's also the Senna or Senacot. If all that doesn't work, then we're going to prescription drugs, but we're not going to bother talking about that right now. All right, everybody repeat with me. What is the most important part of constipation treatment? It is fiber and water. You can take as much medication as you want. A lot of these rely on your fiber and your water. If you don't drink and eat fiber, these medications are going to not work as well. All right, I think we're kind of good to go, though. Let's go ahead and open the store and get today started. Then I'll have to buy inhalers after like the first couple of people come through and I get enough money for them. Can I jump in the water? 
like a real pharmacist would want? Yeah, I guess not. All right, time to get some inhalers. I just got enough money and this guy is asking for it. Perfect timing because I just got enough money to buy them. All right. Fun fact, phenylephrine doesn't really work. It's been shown in studies it does nothing. It's basically placebo effect. Yeah, have fun with that one. We're going to keep this nice and sweet. The FDA has agreed that phenylephrine is a dud. The medication is ineffective when taken orally. And there are better alternative things like Sudafed, Afrin, and Flonase. Don't bother with phenylephrine. It doesn't work. It's a waste of your money. All right, this guy just bought some of this uh, constipation medicine, the... Uh... Bicyclex. What's really important with those medications too is to make sure to tell them to drink a lot of water. It's one of the reasons why a lot of people are constipated is because they're not drinking enough water. Oh, level 10. Supplement license, supplement stand, and supplements. Okay. Again, very weird that I need a license to sell those where that's... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I need a license for those. I mean, I think in real life, you probably need some form of permit, but a license? I don't know. I think there's a difference between a permit and a license. Alright, I think we're going to level up here to 13, and we didn't unlock anything. Alright. I think we're about to hit 14 in a minute here. All right, what do we get? Product, mother's baby products? Okay, are these things that they'll be able to grab themselves? I hope so, because <laughs> I don't feel like grabbing those. Okay, inhaler. And again, technically, even these, these things are non-prescription. They're OTC medications. They really should be grabbing them themselves and all pharmacies these medications are grab yourself medications and of course ask the pharmacist if you have any questions but these are out and about in all the shelves they're not behind the pharmacy only prescription medications are behind the pharmacy for the most part of course there are non-prescription medications also behind the pharmacy but those are usually just medications that are the same as the OTC, just higher doses, you know, things like uh, Omeprazole, the Prilosec. It's OTC, but there's also the prescription higher doses. Why does it... It's stormed, like, every night. Also, she's just raw dog in the weather. No umbrella. That's crazy. Okay, I think we're moving on to the next day here. Profit minus $400? That's crazy. Hey, wait, how much... Dude, taxes are killing me, bro. All right, well, time to clean up my shelves a little bit, and let me take a look at some of these new products here. Um, You need a prescription license. Okay, when do I, like, unlock that license? Hold on, e-exam. Oh, 20? So I need to get to 20 before I can even unlock any prescriptions at all. Supplement and vitamin license. 1,000 each. 15 to recruit people. Uh, okay, let's just buy these two because I have no money for anything else. I could always take out a loan. Man, I hate loans though because I hate having a... Oh. I think this is stuff that they can grab on their own. Okay, this might be goaded. And I can, like other games, I can actually change the prices and stuff. All right, that's kind of weird. Wait, like th th this stuff is essentially the same as this in like a weirder sense of, again, I'm not, I'm not, this is, that's non-prescription, right? 
Yeah, non-prescription medication. So I, I don't know. This stuff really sh it's, should be out there with that stuff. So I don't know why I can change the price on that, but I can't change the price on this. A little weird, but okay. Okay, so average market price. Let's do 2.6. 2 I don't want it to be too high. And then on this, 2.5. Let's make it 2.9. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and start the day. And let's see, do people grab this stuff automatically? That would be extremely cool if they did. Oh, man, I'm going to have to play a little while to get to that 20 to get prescriptions. Because then I think we're going to be using this prescription portal. And that, that's honestly what I'm excited about. So, oh my, okay, oh, he... Oh, I understand now. Wait. Where did that stuff even come from? Wait, what? Quantity of five? What do you mean 2.9? Wait, how did he buy five of those for 2.9? Yeah, let's raise it to three, but... What? Okay, but I understand now. They also have these over-the-counter. True over-the-counter. Well, no, those are more... Uh, whatever. Again, this game has their classifications just a little wrong. Because these are over-the-counter, too. So is that. Every... Yeah, I don't know. It's a little weird. You're looking for insulin needle pens? Oh, those are not usually out. <laughs> and they are... Those are not on the shelves... What kind of crazy store would be selling needles out on shelves? That would, yeah, that would not be okie dokie. That's, yeah, because kids can grab them. It can also be, like, used in not good purpose. Yeah, we don't just keep needles out. That would be, <laughs> yeah, I'd get sued first week on the job. So I didn't even look at some of this. Oh, baby rash powder, rash cream, pacifier, organic milk, sunscreen, newborn diapers, and shampoo. Okay. Let's, okay, now that we have a little bit more money. Let's see, do we have enough money to buy one of each? No. <laughs> Ooh, those diapers are expensive. Okay, you know what? We'll just hold off until we do have enough money. All right, I got to raise these prices because this is annoying me. Let's go ahead and put this at four. And then let's go ahead and put this at five. There we go. So now it's a nice even number two. See, now when I do this, I don't want to type in, you know, some uneven, disgusting number. The 2.6 was really starting to bug me. Maybe we should do a little bit of patient counseling here for the sake. For the sake of these people's health. Alright, maybe the next couple. Let, let's see what they're getting. And maybe we can talk to them a little about it. Okay, so what are you getting? The Acilapin? That's a Cyclovir.